Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Arsenal Pass. Today we have a Blitz gameplay for you. I'm going to be on Viserai. What I think is probably the boogeyman of the format. We have seen some success out of other decks like Old Him, Reinar, and you know, a little bit of Dash as well. <laughs> Kasai, also a big fan favorite of a lot of people playing um, in the skirmish season currently. But I think Viserai, in terms of speed, is really the deck to beat. It is the aggro check. Um, I'm going to be running Vex and Quillhand. I think this new piece of armor really unlocked the power level of Viserai, as well as, of course, Revel and Rune Buffs. Revel and Rune Blood, Swarm and Gloom Veil. Um, those cards are incredible. But anyway, Hayden, let's talk about the deck you have on the other side of the table. I haven't seen that in a skirmish yet. Well, I played it yesterday in a skirmish, actually. So, sort of uh, played three skirmishes this season, played Reiner, played Briar the week, uh, last week as well. Had my last skirmish, really wanted to play something a little bit different. Uh, wasn't as much as I think Old Time and Viserai are probably two of the best decks in the format right now. Wanted to play something that I thought could maybe battle into potentially Viserai and these Kasai decks and decided to pick up a Plasma Barrel Shot Dash deck that kind of uses Tickler Pounder that I put together. So wanted to run this in on a gameplay today and we will maybe play a few games and yeah, let's, there we go, Brendan. The, the deck is kind of traditionally uses Goliath Gauntlet and Hard and Cross Trap is kind of like a big part of it. Uh, in this matchup, we're going to play the Gloves. You know, just to make sure we've got that ability to defend against your arcane if we need to pop these Achilles accelerator early, which often we do need to in this deck to get some value out of stuff. So yeah, and then we we're gonna try and get a couple big turns in with this Tickler Pounder and this plasma barrel shot. One of my favorite weapons in flesh and blood. It may not be one of the best, but it's one that I really like. I think the this and cold foil looks amazing. So, you know, gotta gotta play your uh gotta play your day ones, right? <laughs> Yeah, I remember you talking about this deck back in Skirmish Season One. Oh yeah. <laughs> I played it. I played it in Skirmish Season One as well. So, but it's been revitalized. We have the you know the tickler pounder now. We've got T bones available to us now. Um, so the deck does look a little bit different than it used to, and I think it looks a little bit more a little bit more viable than it used to. Anyway, Brendan, um, odd or even, I'm gonna roll a dice. What would you like? I'll take odd, and then I'll need a little bit of a reminder on the text with your, sure. your little shotgun over there, as well as your item. Sure, it's even. So I'm gonna go first. So the 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 weapon, did you say? Weapon and your item, sir. Didn't look this up before. Plasma Barrel Shot. So once per turn action, remove a steam counter from Plasma Barrel Shot to attack. Uh, and it has an action, two red, you know, two resources. If there are no steam counters on Plasma Barrel Shot, you can put a steam counter on it and go again. And uh, the attack is X, and X is equal to one plus the number of times you've boosted on this combat chain, not turn on this combat chain. Um, and then over here on the Tickler Pounder, uh, we've got a once per turn effect, three counters that starts with once per turn effect. First time you boost each turn, remove a steam counter from it, and that uh, that attack, the attack it's plus two. Get into it. I'm gonna go first. Yep. So it is a very first format. <laughs> it is. Turn one for me is all about trying to set up, and we'll you know we kind of want to go from there. Got a decent hand for setting up, so just get straight into it. I'm gonna pitch the spark of genius to put up the peasant barrel shot, and then we're just gonna play the spark of genius. Yep. It'll double Tickle double core. spark. We we'll get Ticklo Core. Uh, end up Arsenal and pass. I think. Some setup, not bad. Yeah, pass it over. Sweet. Main thing there is don't let Brennan filter and make him make some decisions. That's the the aim of the game. I'll read the runes. Okay. Not pass. All right. So three in chance for you. Yep. Oh, if my hand was imagine if my hand was just like maximum velocity, had everything ready to go. I don't. But that's alright. Alright, start of my turn. Tick local. We're gonna get two resources off this. Mm-hmm. In Yeah, we'll start by coming in with throttle uh boosting using these two resources. Hit a red zero to sixty. We can get plus two from this oh, pounder. So we're coming sure. in for eight. Go again. I'll I'll take eight. All right, straight into it. Straight into it. Down to 12. Yeah. I'll play T-Bone and boost. Yellow T-Bone. Mm -hmm. That's yellow zipper hit. So coming in for two. Also, Tickle Pan is only once per turn. So, you know, it's not... I think it's very good. It's not quite broken. It just six. requires me to block with a piece of armor. It does, right? it does. Yeah, yeah. It's... Sure. It's so, a lot of... Two. And then... Uh, I'm going to play... Blue T-Bone. 
boost. Hit this tech low core. Go for one. Sure. I was hoping I was hoping Brennan might throw the <laughs> the vexing the first one, take an extra point of damage, but that's alright. So you take one. Yep. Put it down to eleven. Brennan knows what's up. Um vision here. You're on eleven. Boosted three times. Yeah, so we'll come in with the plasma barrel shot for four total. So X is one plus the three times we're boosted. Sure, I'll take two. Take two here, and then I'm going to pop the Achilles uh, for that extra oh, action no. point. It's in speed. Don't That's the reason we play the Nauru gloves. <laughs> Don't tell me it's a T-Bone. No, it's, it's not. The T -bone. It's an overblast okay. uh, coming in for eight. Wow. That is a lot of damage. A lot of damage. <laughs> so far we've got no cards out of Brennan's hand. Can we get anything? Will he go to one? Um, I'll probably give you something. I think. I think we have to put, right. put, in, put in some work for this plasma barrel shot. And some of our attacks are a little bit weaker here. But, you know, still, what's this, 15? This is a 22 damage turn, so it's not... Not terrible. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit. It's a bit. 23 damage. I can't right. count. I'll block for three. Spell blade strike. All right. So take five down to four. Yep. All right. And then over to you. Hmm. All right, activate Vexing Full Hand, go up to five rune chance. All right. Uh, Pop Scalata. Sonata? Yep, it is Sonata, and I will pay an extra one. Okay. I'll be looking at um, six cards total. Yeah, and any resource floating or no resources? I have two resources. All right, so six cards. See if you can hit the dream split. <laughs> Just a little perfect split, baby. That's all we need. One time, right? Um, I've seen Brendan do it multiple times, by the way. One time. Oh, that's close, right? That's pretty good. <laughs> the, the one's the, what you don't want to see there, right? Mm hmm Let me think about this. I think we're going to grab a meet and greet and ninth blade. What color was the meet and greet? That's a red. Okay. So. We can't stop the two damage. We've got to consider rattle bones here, but we couldn't stop it anyway. So we're just going to take the two down to eighteen in place four. Sure. Ninth blade and a mean grim. It's going to be a pretty big turn. The ninth blade is obviously not what we want to see here. You can only, only assume that Brennan's pitched a non-attack action there. He's at least got another non-attack action, or he, you know, knowing Brennan, he's probably got the rattle bones ready to go. Me, me, come on. All right, I'll play Ninth Blade. Okay. Five rune chance, creates one, and it's coming in for nine. Yeah, five and nine. Um, okay. To work out what I, you know, obviously what we can do on the following turn. One, probably end up with one, definitely one card that we can hit plus more. So what's the most likely outcome? This is... Do you have two cards in hand? Three cards. I have two cards in hand. I wish it was three. You took a card out of my hand, though. Did had two. But even if it's like just meet and greet plus a lot of damage, we're gonna lose most of our hand here. Meet and greet. Six more. Twenty plus then. And a blade that's 24 that's minimum so i keep everything so you're in chance and a sonata does mean all it takes take five to 13 right. and then i'm going to yeah defend for three here take six down i'll move to reactions i'll yep. activate my boots and play uh blue plunder on <laughs> oh okay all right, so it's going to hit. I'll draw a card. 
and then that'll affect me on the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Sound good? Yeah. So you're still you're still just taking um five here. Uh I think the plus one is on the next attack action card. It is, it is, but turn. nine minus three is six. Oh. <laughs> hey. Seven plays four. Hey, no one tries to throw me off with that that math stuff, you know. <laughs> Oh, I wish my I wish I had some better red attack actions last turn to draw two cards out of your hand. We had a red T bone. <laughs> All right, I'll come in for five. Yeah, uh, one arcane and five. Pick the one arcane and then yeah. Wow. That blue plunder run is very, very, very unfortunate. Block six. You have one card in hand? I have one card in hand. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, I didn't draw the blue. Then ideal. Blue? Um, I could play both the cards in my hand. Oh. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> uh, yeah. We'll swing for the Scrates one, of course. Yeah. Uh, five. Cool. Take three down to three from the arcane, they'll block for two. Our skull cap will be on. All right. Yep. Brennan matches the turn back at us. Mm hmm. Okay. Wait, one card. Um, bring options. So we're going to get two resources. Just waking up, I want to use this cross trap this turn. And use these resources on the shot. I just don't think we can get the value out of the shot. And I think I'd rather have the hardened cross trap for another two cost next turn. It's more value that way. We have quite a few two costs in the deck. So uh, we're just going to come in with overloop and boost so that we get this ability off the Teclo Pounder and come in for seven total. Seven. Means we do get at least two cards. Oh, I guess we get creepers actually, plus a card. So ideal. Maybe you're right. <laughs> yeah, often this deck can do twenty seven damage on that big that kind of spike turn. Like that second turn I had, it's pretty pretty easy to do, like with maximum velocities or uh, just red line attacks. Unfortunately obviously we had a yellow and then we had blue with resources left in this, so I wanna see like a red mm -hmm. or something in there. Rather than that. Coming in for seven. I'll block okay. five. Does it read the runes and uh amplify the Arknight? Both read? Yep. yep. Take one to three. Oh, sorry, two to two, rather. Two to two to two, yeah. Flip goes to the bottom of the deck. Alright, over to you. It's like a good block from Brendan. Gets to turn off the L cap. Play a meet and greet. I'll pitch a plunder on. Flip two. Well, we safely say there's going to be an activation of those creepers, I would think. Yeah. Do you have any uh, Gorganian tones in your graveyard by, by chance? Just wondering. I definitely do. <laughs> Brennan trying to sell us the fake. Probably get Sonata. Um, let's see. So we can... Is our skull caps off now, right? Really missing having an extra piece of armor. Yeah, I actually considered not pitching the plunder run and using a different card because I was like, oh. But, and then booting out the plunder run. But if you double block it, it's no good. <laughs> yeah. And you might, right? You might you might double block it. The two. Our skull cap's kind of pretty bad now. The thorn, skull cap doesn't do anything against thorn. Um, can we block three here? Pick one to two, Brennan gets a room chant, and then we're at two place two. And that room chant's coming in plus the arcane, we're forced to commit a card plus an arcane. Kind yeah, of our only I'm option sure. though. So I'm gonna he go can block the arc. <laughs> he can block the arcane as well because that first room chant. Well, actually, I, can I stack him? Yeah, you I get to decide. Uh, just die. In for three, I'll pick one. Sure. Um. I'll activate my boots, and I'll flash in this Gorg Tome. Oh, yeah. Um, 
Then we'll swing the blade and stack the two arcane first before the rune chant. That's fine. I'll prevent one of it. Take one. Prevent one of the Rosita Thorns. So we take one down to one. Mm -hmm. And then the block for three. Yep. Sounds good. You have two cards in hand? I have one card in hand. <laughs> I just had to spend three cards on that. All right. Uh, uh, boots are going on. Uh, no, they're not. Right. Oh, because you used them for a second time. Two counters? Second. Yeah, yeah, two counters. Yeah, yeah. You still have an arsenal card. But that's not ideal. All right, hard and cross trap. Russell Korea boost coming for six. Under. Six, eh? Yep. Four plus two. I forgot to keep an extra card, it could have been nice. Block six. Okay. Brennan can activate this thorn here. Yeah. Well, it truly did. Yep. I can. Well, I mean, we have the Arcana Scope. Okay, just coming in for three. Mm -hmm. So, sure, just in for three. Sure, let me think. Good decision. Um, it is that. Uh, I guess it's not. <laughs> Probably, I think I could have played this differently. It looks though. like swing the weapon and take my whole hand is what it looks like to me. Yeah. Yeah, so... Switch to the skull cap. Switch to the mm -hmm. iron gloves for the one, and then block mm -hmm. three. Yeah. Sounds good. That's the turn. Maybe Brennan Wiss. Who knows? Back to you. Yeah, maybe. Brennan, what? I guess what's what's your kind of thought line in this game? We know mine, we talked about you know, trying to get that big turn in early, trying to get a hit on the Tickle Pounder turns. Obviously, we didn't quite get to where it needed to be. Yeah, so it's, it's definitely an aggro matchup, right? I, I'm just trying to combo off on you as soon as possible. Luckily, I had Sonata. Like, there's a lot of replacement level cards in Risrai. You know, become Snags of Sonata. Um, you have Sonata itself. And you, know, you can do other effects to kind of shuffle and get towards that. But... Yeah, I just need to find those cards as, as fast as possible. And it's like with Quill Hand. Like, so I only had three rune chants, which is okay. Um, read the runes turn on turn zero is good if I'm going first. But if I'm on the draw, it's kind of rough. Because if my opponent's playing an aggressive deck, I just kind of did nothing. And you see, he presents 20 damage. And then I'm really forced, uh, forced to address the issue. Which is, it was fine because of the card that I found, which was Ninth Blade. Um... But without Ninth Blade and like kind of the crappy graveyard I had, it's like even the Rattlebones is kind of bad. Like I was in a tough spot, but mostly I just got to combo you as fast as possible. Take cards out of your hand and just not face another, you know, four things on your combat chain. That's a lot for me to deal with. Um, sure. Moments, guys. Mm -hmm. And then we'll play the Sonata. We'll look at, uh, look at three. Up to five rune chants. Um, we get one. It's a spellblade strike. So one arcane. Yeah, prevent one arcane. And we'll play uh, rune flash, generating two more. Yep. And then we'll five die. And, <laughs> yep. All reds in hand there. Not not that we can really do much there when Brynn has the full hand. Game kind of ends the turn on the ninth plate, I think, when we can't. Well, we need him to brick the turn after, and that doesn't quite happen, so. Yeah. The become is like. Be putting become an arsenal is just a big. You know, it's going to allow me to kind of get past any yeah. any bad draws there. Interesting that you say you feel like the replacing level is high in Viscera. I've always felt as like a Viscera player, the replacing level is kind of low. Because you. <laughs> Sorry. Because it's the cards are very like specific that you want, right? Like, yeah. you want the Sonatas, you want the Rattle Bones, but I think. I think the power level is is so high in in those cards that those cards 
and while they're not direct replacement level, they do things that are also empowerful. And because of the, the way the deck's built between the non-attack actions and attack actions, it feels like you always have these avenues to go down. You just have to maybe think of the line or find the line. Um, as opposed to maybe being yeah. necessarily direct replacement level, like you might find with like this deck, right? Like if I'm trying to max velocity, I need three attacks that have boost on them. I would say like those those cards have some pretty reasonable uh, replacement level to a degree, you know, depending on the cost structure. But um, yeah, just need yeah. raw power. <laughs> In terms of like forcing damage, there's not like there's just a few cards I'm looking for, right? It is the Becams, it is the Nadas, but it's also like the Revels, um, the Morgia Tides, um, to an extent the Gloom Veils, but really just like Rattlebones if I have the graveyard for it. Like every other deck in my in my every other card in my deck is kind of ancillary to finding those cards. All right, Brendan, let's get back into game two. You're on the start this time. Yep, that's where I want to be is Viscerai. By far, <laughs> I think it significantly changes your win rate. But uh, we did get, you know, obviously we did get a good hand last time. But definitely want to be on the play. So you know, drop my four and let's see what we have. Get into it. Well, not, we did get something. Go ahead. I was gonna say, not making any changes on my side. Uh, I thought about having the Teclo kind of uh, Teclo Foundry Heart for the extra defense, but I just think Heart and Crossroad is so important to the turns we want to get. You know, if we can get a max velocity turn or those overblast turns or whatever it is i feel like you know we need need this cross track for the the two yeah interesting on my <laughs> on my end because i think we're already presented with uh quite a puzzle which is just very visceral i think anytime you get become the arc knight it just asks a lot of questions um but i do think i have it here i think it's going to be just a simple become go ahead and we'll ditch the red meet and greet fill up our graveyard I have another card that is actually way worse than meet and greet, but I want to have a good target in my graveyard in case I have a rattle bones. So we're just going to grab a read the runes here, which we probably already passed. Um, and just donate some rune chance and arsenal and pass. So we'll go ahead and get the four and pass over to you. And yeah, get that, get that meeting green there for a later rattle bones. Usually better than putting a, even a, a blue spell, yeah, assault blue there, or whatever. It's like, like, yeah, know. it's just like, I'm not grabbing that, right? And who knows how much time I'll have to fill up that graveyard as well. If like, I find the Sonata next turn, it's going to be like effectively zero. Yeah, yeah. Very true. Right. <clears throat> and we don't let the opponent filter, which is good. Yeah. Okay. Over to me, we're going to go ahead and play T-Bone and Boost. So we're going to come in for five off the Stickler Pounder, hit Stickler Core. Okay, for five and requiring an armor block. Mm -hmm. So it does make things at least a little bit more interesting. Slight, it's slightly a dance of like <laughs> when I block with uh, my Scalata, like how dangerous it is. It's dangerous going into like the turn following. Yeah. Um, take three. I'll take three. Yep, 17. So. It's kind of like a bit of a setup turn for us. Obviously, we haven't used the Pleasant Barrel Shot, so we're not going to use this, this turn. Instead, we're just going to come in with a Throttle for <coughs> the 6 and boost. Hit this yellow 0 to 60. Most exciting yeah. turn, but we'll try and, try and set up for next turn if we can. Uh, yeah, considering the Hayden setting up, I just wonder if I want to Skull Cap block here, because I'm not. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it again. Um, just how much damage do I expect? How so much damage you've got, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, it does depend. Um, I think we got a solid amount. So, it seemed pretty nice for us. We'll go ahead and scope that block this. Yep. So, take four? Yep. 15. All right. No, I still pass the turn. Sure. Okay, so no load on the barrel. Yep. Still Good. on the barrel. The, the, the reason I boost on the end there is. I think I want to make Brendan make suboptimal plays, and because we're not going to, this game's not going to go long enough that fatigue's an issue for me. Uh, I'd rather just boost the card, and then if Brendan feels like we might have another zero cost or a one cost, like a zipper hit to come in afterwards, he now has to make some decisions. Uh, like we just saw the skull cap, maybe he doesn't block the skull cap there to try and block it on the next attack. Um, so. All right, over to you. Yeah, for me, it's like uh, we're basically just preserving life. Like for Viscerai, we we're playing a two turn game. And I think after that, we're just ripping every card of our opponent's hand. Um, anyway. All right. So I'm going to pitch Oath here. It's going to be for four and four. And then this is going to float one resource. Okay. 
Hand's kind of bad. So, we have a card here. I've set up an arsenal. We're not going to be able to kind of utilize that setup, I don't think. I think going to generate the two as well, of course. Dead. What we'll do is... Print three, take one. 19. Sure. Actually, sorry. I'm going to try and prevent all of this. How many cards in hand, sorry? I have two cards in hand. Yeah, I think we're expecting creepers here, so I'm actually going to go and pitch this zipper hit as well, so I won't take anything. Okay. Then I'm going to end for three, take one. Um, yeah, I'm still going to creepers. Yep. We're going to play rattle okay. bones. Yep. And then we are going to banish. Well, I guess we banished the mean greet. Probably maybe should have broken the chain, just banished the spell with assault. Because I actually think we're still just, we're just swinging the sword here. Um, to, how much re you have one resource floating? Everyone one resource, yeah. Hand? Yeah, one kind of hand. I think we just want to guarantee the arcane. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're coming in for two, two, and two. Right. Mm hmm. Yeah, so you get the action point, the riddle bones, you still have to banish. Then mm -hmm. we'll prevent one, rune chance, take three arcane to 16, and then take two from okay. the blade down to 14. All right, and you have still the one card in hand? I do, yeah. We're good. Um, Right, yeah, we we'll just arsenal and pass. Yeah, my team's just play tackle. Oh, tackle core. Core and pass. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yep. I think we're I think we're chilling then. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely feeling in trouble over here. Bad hand couldn't really utilize the cards we had. I want to. If this is a three turn game, I want to make sure we get all three turns off tickler pounder. Kind of tough in this situation, but roll with what we've got. Sorry about that. Be sometimes a little. You're good. Hard to see the board stay with the again. The mic is just like. Yeah, yeah, whatever the excuse is, um, Brendan. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. All right, just wait till I wipe the floor with you here, James. I mean, I'm not feeling good about this. My last turn was very bad. One thing against the Viscera in this format is you do need to be able to keep the pressure up. We need to find out our, our good turns early. Uh, we're set up for it. Just, yeah, just the, the draw was pretty bad there. All the cards in our hand cost something, which is not what you want to see. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go ahead and play the Plunder Run out of Arsenal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's going to be blue. Um, then we'll play a Morgent Tide, everybody's favorite card. Oh. Generate one. And then we'll play Gloom Veil. So it'll be for one and four. It'll generate two rune chants. If it hits you, you can't block Arcane. Hmm. You have how many cards in hand? I have two cards in hand. All right. Well, I think it will take... I feel like as soon as Hayden gets Teclo Core out, we're like, very incentivized to go fast. So <laughs> uh, we're going to take... Take the one here from the arcane, and then I'm gonna block. Thirteen all. Uh, this is for five, isn't it? Because of the Mordred tide. Ah, uh, for the plunder run. This sucks. Yeah, the plunder run. Rather. <sighs> it's hard. It's been a while since I've played plunder run. It's yeah. Hard. <laughs> I mean, I can't win this game. I just have to hope that Brendan kind of semi bricks on this. So take four. Uh, you mean take five? Oh, sorry, yeah. If it was four, I'd definitely be blocking. Unfortunately, we went to exactly 13 after that arcane. All right, so you got an interesting decision. It's just uh, how many cards do you have in hand? You have I have four. four. Yeah, I haven't blocked yet. All right, so our question is really just forcing the issue, forcing the issue here. Um, your skull cap is online. So we can go up to five. Just kind of waste a card, which is unfortunate. Five is going to take you down and three. All right, so then you're going to have to give me a card, which is interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll cool hand for value because you, you, you've shown us that you don't want to block, right? So. We'll go up to the five rune chance here. You think I want to block? <laughs> I just couldn't. <laughs> Freaking plunder on. All right, sure. So breaking the chain to do that. Yeah. Yep. Breaking the chain. So obviously in the graveyard. And then Russ. Yeah, I think it's just going to go ahead and be this amplify, generate two off of that. So it's going to be for five and six. You have how many cards in hand? 
Yeah, two cards in hand. So I am. You can yeah. creepers, yeah. Unfortunately, I just can't play around it. If you have it, you have it. I um, I need to be able to have a turn to try and win this game. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take five to three. Yep. And then block four, five. Okay. Take one. Yep. All right. All Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> we can't play around at that point. It's like if there's the because if it's Morven's guys, you play the Morven first anyway because it's more value and. I think it's you know, unlikely, but if you have it, pick them up. I think, yeah, whatever it is, it like just doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. Die. I agree. Um, all right, two resources off this Diclo. I'm scared to lose my uh, Scalata though on the following turn like this. Um, zipper hit boost. So come in for seven. Hit this blue zipper hit. Okay, I'll take seven. All right, on to six. Yep, on to six. Zero to 60 boost. Hit possible courier coming for four. Zero to 60, okay. Interesting. I'm just like, what is like the scariest thing that Hayden can do? That's, that's just my question here. Everything. I can do everything. Everything. Don't say that. That's terrifying. <laughs> three card plus arsenal hand. Yeah. Uh, you said it says for four? Yeah. That is. You got 29 damage with the four card hand, but obviously, you know, it's a pipe dream. Match up. I'll take four. Okay. Down to two? Two all. Yep. Oh. Super hit boost. Okay. The spike of genius. Five. Alright, zero resources floating. Yep. Oh, you do have the cross trap. Call for a cross trap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cross trap can definitely win in the game. Um it can definitely give me some cards, I would I would say. Maybe I'm just bluffing, maybe I have nothing Brendan. in. Hmm. Ideally, just while Brendan's thinking, I wanted to keep this obviously I was actually pretty keen to block the the Boomba if we could, because I think they might be able to stop Brennan from even having a second attack. Um, plus the opportunity to creepers. As it worked out, you know, it wasn't too bad for us, but we did. You know, I was never going to be able to keep the four card hand there. That just wasn't happening. I play too well. Yeah. Hmm. You, uh, you drive an interesting bargain, sir. Well... I think just on the attack, this the reason sequencing it this way is so that we can be on two life each if Brennan doesn't defend, not turn that skull, keep, you know, keep the skull cap on, off as long as possible. Okay. I'll look at a one here. Take one to one. Uh, we're going to break the chain. Yep. Activate this cross trap. And then maximum velocity for 10. So we <laughs> stuck it in Arsenal on turn one. And so we needed those three cards there to be able to, to, be able to play it. So funny. There's actually like, uh, there's a possibility I can block this, but I can't because I have a Gorg Tome. <laughs> got it. Right, we get there. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. Like, obviously, this is a gamble. This is a big risk to put this in Arsenal, but I think in this matchup, like Brendan said it before, you called it right. It's a two to three turn game. Like, we've got to take these risks and the kind of we play it, we put it in, we draw the hand of Teclo plus uh, the boost cards cost. Our three boost cards we draw actually cost us. So we can't. There's no way we can play it next turn. Um, so we just have to block out, get this Teclo in play, try and set up for a turn like this. Even if we don't kill Brennan here, we probably take his whole hand, right? And then we can, uh, on the following turn, have Teclo, plus we've got one more pounder. Uh, so it's probably pretty easy for us to come in for like 15 plus damage. Um, pretty, pretty usually we can do that. I mean, as you see here, it's that's going to end up being only about 13, 14, but that might be enough still. So yeah, it's interesting. I think this matchup, like you say, Brennan, right? Two to three turns is very, uh, very important. Um, just want to wrap it up. I think Brendan from my side, like, well, yeah, I was just going to say, if we go one, one, don't we roll off or for first and play the third. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, All right. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm like, okay, just leave it there. <laughs> All right. It's going to be a longer video, but Hey, we're, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Hey, we got, we got two turn game. We got two turn games. We got an editor that can get rid of all. Of true. True. You know, all right. We're going to keep time. this, keep this tight. Let, 
Yeah, cut out all the time Aiden spent thinking. <laughs> yeah, all the time I spent thinking. All right, odd or even, Brennan. Let's roll it. Oh the god! Oh the god! All right, it is odd. It's a one. Unfortunate. Man of integrity. Well, no, I just, I, of course I am, but if, had I said it was even there, even if it was even, you would have said, no, it wasn't. You're a liar. I'm surprised you, I'm surprised, I'm surprised, I'm surprised you look at it and you're like, hmm, off the table. All right. If I can see it, it's a roll. All right. You going first? Luck, sir. Yeah. All right. Just still like. Yeah, you're going to love this. It's, it's definitely more to tide, uh, read the runes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, nice game between myself and Brendan on this right here. <laughs> so true my god well i mean if, if i if i draw a really good you know like we've got multiple zero to 60s we've got zipper hits on my turn we can come in for like 22 24 damage that'd be fine that'd be all right yeah it's weird because like i want to i want to pop vexing um i feel like i want to pop vexing here but it's just kind of scary with all the uh E bones, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, which is so unlikely that you have three T bones, but if you do, <laughs> bad place for me. Um, it's also like if I don't find a combo piece as well next turn, then I just have a bunch of rune chance, and it's not great. Maybe that wouldn't require me to have like two good hands in a row, though, right? Yeah, uh, so we'll make the three. And we'll go ahead and we'll read the runes and make six. Sure. Brennan's a big proponent of not using rune chant tokens. And by that, I mean, you just forgot to grab one out. <laughs> no, I got it right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> if, it, if it helps, if it helps. No, no, it doesn't bother me. I just assumed that you forgot to grab one out. All right, no. well, man, Loki sucks, unfortunately. Um, Brennan's at nine rune chants. So, but basically, we never, you know, I mean, Brennan's at that many rune chants. He's going to have a big turn next turn. Like, there's no way he's not right. Even if he doesn't have the Knight's Blade or Sonata or whatever, nine rune chances is nine damage. So I think where we want to be, often, like, I have a weaker hand. Often with a weaker hand with this deck, I want to get, like, a zero-cost boost card into Arsenal to set up for, like, a bigger turn because that's that's damage to Plasma Barrel Shot. That's damage to Overpower. That's a boost card for maximum velocity. Like, those are the kind of things I'm looking to do. Um, but since a hand is so weak and I'm probably going to be throwing my whole hand to the Femur next turn just to try and get through that turn cycle, um, we're just going to come up with as much damage as possible, I think, and mm -hmm. you know, reevaluate my life from there. So, no mm. evolve ease, I think. All right, we'll load up this dozen barrel shots. Yep. A hit boost. Come in first six. Take what sure, Take, <clears throat> take six. Just, just take, yeah. Uh, just as high speed impact. Play a blue throttle boost. Come in for four. Yeah, see a lot of blues here. I want these next turn when the rune chance come in. Not now. Um, All right. I'm 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 wondering on the Scalata. Actually, I think I'm not Scalata. I'm just gonna block with Skullcap. I have no cards. Yeah. All right. <laughs> And then we'll. So the I guess the question. So, so it's for four, right? So we. Are yeah, yeah. Two? yeah, yeah. Sorry. Well, the question now is: Do I want a plasma barrel, or do we just want to keep it up uh, for a future turn? You know, if there's a is there a way that maybe maybe I can survive this next turn somehow? Maybe, but we can probably not. Uh, it's gonna be hard to put counters back on this again. Two damage. Oh, this is three damage here. How often is it worth more than that? When we're probably not gonna have much of a hand. Probably not very often. So. I was going to come in for three here. Here, take three. These are some of the decisions, though, that we've got to make with this in this situation. All right. Nine. Yeah, nine plus 20. So our hand is... Uh, it's not incredible, but it's definitely not bad. So, yeah, I mean, one of the cards is amazing. That's all that really matters. So we'll play Morgan Tide. Haven't seen one of those in a while. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. We'll play a Rune Flash. So it's going to be nine Rune Chance and four. It's Two. All right, I'm gonna prevent three, take six. Okay. Yep. It uses maximum velocity and take one. Thirteen. Okay. I'm gonna play the Swarm and Gloom Veil. 
Two and four creates two more. Yeah, take the two rune chance to eleven. Yep. In with this T bone for three. Take one. Sure. You're at ten. Yep. Ten plus nine. Okay. Now <laughs> here's an interesting. Yeah, this is interesting. Because we could generate a lot of rune chance on our upcoming turn. We could end with five rune chance and get rid of Scalata here to play a blue spellblade assault and arsenal. Let's say I feel this is a spellblade assault. <laughs> yeah. I mean I can pitch for the spellblade assault as well. Um which but I want like the I feel like I want Moth Skies in my arsenal if I'm gonna be killing you on the turn after this, like hundred percent, right? Uh so that's what's interesting. I this is yeah, this is tough. It's between it's between blade or it's basically between blade and pitch the mob to play the spell blade assault. Um so we'd end with five rune chance in that case. We present four damage. Instead, we present six, and we get the Malvern Skies in our soul. Our opponent pretty much doesn't have anything, so I'm just going to, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Sure, we're coming for six. I'll take four arcane. Okay. I'll block with skull cap. Skull cap, yeah, that makes sense. Uh... Yeah, my turn's just gonna be. Actually, is it is it gonna be Arsenal Pass or is it gonna be try and push damage here? <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I want to make the most out of this Tickler Pounder. Um, yeah, I think we actually want to push the damage. Mm. No, I want to keep my skull cap active. I think as well. We'll just pass. I mean, if sure. yeah, if we can't, we can always do this next turn. And it's very unlikely we to keep more than four cards anyway. Uh, sorry, more than one card anyway. We're not keeping the four cards. Gravity. Okay. Yeah, for what it's worth, I think I would have uh would have liked to have those five rune chance. <laughs> <I'd> say that. <laughs> I was like, maybe Brynn will just get the all non attack action hand and no rattle coins. That'd be nice. Yeah. It's gonna soon be a sonata, but I'm gonna pay two for it, so I'm gonna float one, so I'm gonna get four cards. Alright, alright. Maybe we whiff. Just taking the off screen to just stack. Attacks into an <laughs> Can I see that? Oh, there <laughs> it is. Well, I do only hit one because I am so unlucky. Of course. It looks like a red spell blade, though. <clears throat> it is a red spell blade. It looks pretty good, to be honest. <laughs> it's looking okay. Um, I'm going to pitch to the hit and prevent arcane. Sure, reason. Mine plays six. How are we going to do it? Pull this one off. It's going to go down in folklore history. Holy. Folklore history. Folklore history. Flesh and blood folklore. Hmm. Very interesting. We have the one floating. It's just way too... Yeah, that's what you clear to do it like this. Um, so you make a rune chant. <clears throat> yeah, we make the rune chant. Just wondering if I'm Scalata in here, because then I can get funky. All right. Um, do we Scalata? You're at six, you have three cards in hand, right? Mm -hmm. You have a block on the skull cap, you have an arsenal card. Yeah. I think that <clears throat> we want to push the damage. How many cards in hand? I have three cards in hand. All right. I mean, if you just blue plus red or bones plus spell blade assault. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, if you just have <laughs> you just have all the best cards in your deck, then you're doing you're doing great. I mean uh fortunately, I do not. There's <laughs> only uh, two more tides in this deck, unfortunately. Yeah, so I'll Scalata. Yeah. I'll pay one for this. This will generate uh, three rune chance. Yeah. Okay, and so coming in for one. Uh... Let's go again as well. There's some yeah. guys on it. Yep, yep. yep. So I'm going to prevent one out there. Mm -hmm. And. Defend for four. Okay. Yeah, get that value. Oh, uh, Gloomvale for three and uh, 
Tá <risos> um... Bit one, take two, I gain to four. Yep. Block three, take one to three. Yep. And just wage you one, two, two. Yep. And I'll uh, die. I have a yellow in hand, unfortunately, not a blue, so not going to do it for us. Well, you know, we tried. Got there. We took game two. It was close. Just, yeah, obviously, much better start for Brennan there than, than we had. We had a pretty poor turn two. It was pretty hard to beat nine room chance on the old. Uh... Yeah. Was it turn one? Yeah, it was turn one, nine room chance, right? Yeah, turn one. Turn one. Pretty, um, yeah. Pretty tough ass. The... <laughs> all the Quill. Yeah, Quill hands a Quill hands a crazy card. Just... Nothing to do with the double Mordred Tide, though. Oh yeah, the follow-up more to tide. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, we we really um, obviously need a, a good. We need a good start. So you know something like a max velocity or there was so many lines that are like twenty-five to twenty-seven damage, and we want to try and obviously we need to find those early. Um, but starting with blues all in hand. So not the worst thing to not have a good first turn, but we need to be able to set up. You know, we need to be able to like hopefully like a tech lock core into play. We need to be able to like plaza barrel shot plus push some damage and take some cards. Set up a key arsenal card like a max velocity or a throttle. Obviously, so yeah, couldn't couldn't get there in the end. But I've been having a lot of fun playing this deck. I think it's a ton of fun. Yeah. It's uh, it has a high, quite a high like power output. I think Ultim is like tough to play into just because you can like literally fatigue into these control Ultims. But yeah, every other matchup in the format feels like you know you can match power levels with people, which is yeah. I mean, it feels competitive versus Viscera. I think the third game was a bit of a non-game. Um, I did say let's pack it up on turn one. To be fair, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the first game felt good, and then the second one obviously maximum. So I think, you know, in terms of like a power ranking in the format, uh, you know, if you can if you can go toe to toe with Viscera's damage like that, I think you're in a good spot. Like we see, Kasai is like one of the most played decks, and it just cannot do that, right? It cannot out damage Viscera in terms of speed kind of thing. So, and it, it's not great against Reinar either. So I think I'm excited to see Dash as a possible as a possible deck in this meta. Looks fun. So well, I played Dash before I played Kasai personally. I think. Um... Because size in a tough spot right now. But there's a few options out there, which is cool. You know, personally, I've played Reinar, Briar, Dash through the skirmish season and had a lot of fun playing all, and I think they're all competitive. So, yeah, it's been awesome. Anyway, thank you for the games, Brendan. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm.